Hello, welcome back, Box Set One here, and today I will be showing off the fourth out of the fourth out of five sets, the Lighthouse from this Lego Scooby Doo theme, and this is probably it's not my favorite set, and I don't know why. It's just a personal preference, I guess, but it's a really cool set nonetheless. The figures, however, are one of my favorite lineups of figures, besides in the biggest set. Very amazing figures. So let's get on to those. This Scooby-Doo uses um, the parts from the Scooby-Doo from the mystery machine for the head and then the plane for the body. But he is pretty cool because he does mix those up. And it's very nice. I do like getting another sitting version of Scooby-Doo. Second, we have the first out of two Daphne's in this line of sets. Yes, there are two sets with Daphne, so she's not exclusive to the set, but she does come with a paddle, which is, I guess, technically exclusive because it has a different accessory, but we don't count that, really. The figure is the same as the other one that we'll see later, or in uh, two days, on the 30th. So, or not the 30th, is it the 30th? No, it's the, the 28th. 30th is something else that will be interesting. Um, but Daphne, very cool figure. She does have a different face. I don't really show the different faces for the figures because I honestly forget, but they're pretty cool. Just smiling and absolutely distressed. <laughs> anyway, on to the next one. Next, for, and the final one for the actual mystery gang, I guess. What are they called? The mystery gang? I don't know. I don't remember exactly, but... Is Shaggy. Now, this one is exclusive to this set. This one has an exclusive um, torso print, which is really cool. I actually really like the seaweed and stuff. because, uh, And he also comes with the skis and a hamburger. But the skis, which I'll put on right now. I'll show you why he needs the skis later. Probably already saw. But um, I'll show you that later. For now, let's get on to the, the um, villains in the set. The first villain here is actually really cool, honestly. Both of the villains are really cool, but this one, he's really cool. He uses the dwarf hairpiece, and he's pretty nice. He has the very cool torso, actually. Very nice. That I could see that having many uses. That's a very cool body print, but he also... or It's a she! It's a girl! I didn't notice that. I've never actually really looked at the back of this one's head, but that's pretty cool. I didn't know that. Oh yeah, the head glows in the dark. One of the coolest things about this figure. It glows in the dark. Very nice. I wake up in the night and sometimes I see, or I used to whenever I had this on display in a different place, I used to see just the face glowing in the dark. It's kind of interesting. Very cool figure. And finally, for the figures and the villains, um, we have probably one of the coolest figures in the entire set. The sea monster. Very, very nice. Also, the light purple looks great. I always like light purple. I don't think I've ever got a scene hands in light purple besides on this figure. There probably are, but I've just never seen them, really. It does use the sea monster hat, or head piece. And look at that face. That's a face only a mother could love. I mean, wow. <laughs> the villain, though, has a very nice monocle. I will give him that. There we go. A little bit better. Wow, my focus is not having a good day today. There we go. Nice monocle. Very nice. And a trident, which is really cool. I do like the trident. I have one in, um, like, the metallic... Is it the metallic black? Metallic dark silver? I don't know. But I have a Aquaman set with a trident as well. I like tridents. You don't really see them too often in, um most themes like this, so it's very cool to get one here. So like I said, absolutely amazing figures. Now let's get on to the actual set. Okay, so first we're going to review the Mystery Gang's um, vehicle in the set. Now this is actually pretty cool. I actually, they don't really make too many like side build boats, I feel. So it's kind of cool to get a boat that looks actually really good as a side build. And also, still the amazing color scheme of the mystery gang which means you get this very cool undercarriage in lime green 
Very nice. Also, the stickers look great on this one. They're not too many, but really makes it look great. Anyway, you may have been wondering, what are those skis for? Although you've probably seen it. Well, Shaggy can actually attach onto the back, and Scooby can be driving. Or Daphne, but I like to think Scooby would be the one driving. So, just like in the playing set, Scooby is an expert in all types of vehicles, I guess. He goes in the land, the air. In one of the shows, he may drive the mystery machine. He may be a... He may be an expert, an absolute expert on all fields for when it comes to driving. But he can pull Shaggy along, and Shaggy may flip over into the sea and get some seaweed on him, which explains his starfish and seaweed. And that is very cool. I like that. You can just fling him into the rocks, maybe. I'm not going to do that because I don't want to accidentally destroy the figure. <laughs> anyway, on to the lighthouse. This is the second biggest set, so it has an absolutely amazing build. And I don't know why I never really liked this set as much as the others. I guess because the other ones, literally the Mystery Machine and the other ones have other cool qualities, like the massive mansion. I don't know. Maybe it's because I didn't build this one as much. But I think it's a very cool set now looking at it, honestly. It's pretty big as well. And that's... It has a lot of cool features. Also, okay, let's get into it. Over here is a little, a little, what is this? Like a little hole in the ground, I guess. That's literally what it is. And it has the specialized map of the set. Um, the location of this lighthouse. So you have to find the lighthouse to find the map. Which, uh, that makes perfect sense, actually. Definitely. <laughs> you should have to find the map to find the lighthouse, but... Eh. Technicalities. Anyway, there's also this little tiny... Um, I don't know what that would be. Maybe you could just tie your boat up on it. I don't know. But that's kind of cool. Just a mini lighthouse, I guess. And up here, up some rocks. Or We shouldn't go up there yet. Let's go down into the caves. If you go inside here, there's actually some pretty cool features. There's this crate here. Oh, we should probably show the feature. If you spin this, let me show you. This opens, revealing this crate. Now, if I manage to get that out, there we go. That wasn't too hard. Um, I flung that somewhere. There it goes, right there. You get a, a diving aspirator. Is it an aspirator? Respirator. Respirator, not an aspirator. That would not be good. <laughs> a respirator. Two fins, would it? Yeah, fins. Like diving fins. And then a crowbar to, I don't know, smack this person with. I don't know. <laughs> Break a door down or something. But it also has some other cool features, which I'll show you in a second. Now, you're probably wondering, um, what is this treasure chest? And I will show you what is in this treasure chest. Some gems, which if I get out, maybe I can focus. Um, yeah, right here. A green gem and a red gem. As well as, I keep forgetting what, a goblet. It's a goblet, right? A chalice, a goblet? Are those? I don't know. But I'm pretty sure there's either a goblet or a chalice. Pretty cool. You can have the mystery gang find that they've stolen these things or something. I don't know the exact story, but that's what I'm guessing it's supposed to be. And that just sits in there. That doesn't attach to any studs like the other thing. But that's still pretty cool. Anyway, up here, if we do go up here, we have the keep out sign. Very cool. I like I like it. But going back around, we have a little stove inside there with a pan on it, actually. So it's kind of interesting. I do like the bottom of the lighthouse, how it goes out. It's, I guess, kind of realistic, honestly. Because... Better structural support. Anyway, going up, there's this little prison cell where you can put Daphne, I guess. Because she, I guess she found this island without the map, even though the map's on the island. So, she got thrown in the prison cell. And now this guy can watch her and guard. I don't know. But, there's some seaweed on the side. 
but if you go up to the far third and final level, which I'll turn it around because it's better if I do this that way, it has a little railing, which is good. I like the little railing. And also, a, a key, which I guess could be for the cell, and then a bone, which can be for Scooby-Doo. <laughs> Oh yeah, there's also some cool stickers for all these windows on the top. I do like that. And the ones over here is just the same as the front. But that's really cool. Really cool. Anyway, now that you've actually seen all of this great set, I'm going to give my review on it. Now my opinion has changed, actually since the beginning of this video, honestly. Where this used to be not my favorite. It was probably my fourth, which, now that I say that, is absolutely insane, because it's a great set. I'd say it's probably moved up to my second favorite, or probably my third favorite, honestly, because my first is the large manor, and then the mystery machine is my second, but this is my third favorite set. Amazing figures. I actually really like the figures. Probably one of my, besides the big, the big set of the theme, these are probably the best figures. Very unique, besides... Scooby-Doo, I guess, and Daphne. I guess he's still unique, but anyway. I think the build is actually very nice as well. It has some nice features, some nice play features. A map that you have to find the island to find the map that shows the map to the island, but we don't talk about that. I honestly would definitely recommend this. Very cool pieces, very cool figures, very cool set. Now my third favorite. It's official. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed I definitely enjoyed building this, and I shall have it on display for a while. Goodbye. I shall see you tomorrow for the final, or well not tomorrow, but the 28th. So two days. Yay. Um, would that be Monday? Be back from Monday. So make your Monday better. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. I shall see you next time.